Dear students, in today's session 2, we will be studying about the paper board and its varieties and its properties. Now, here we will be understanding the characteristics of boards and its varieties. There are various varieties of boards that are available in the market that suits to every product requirement. These boards are available with various finishes, various sizes and various thicknesses. Now these boards are having a high grade of durability, strength and dimensional stability in order to carry a product to safeguard the product and helps in transportation of the product also easy dispensing of the product since these boards are made of various components that fulfills the requirement of the manufacturer of the product such that he or the manufacturer can confidently send or pack these his products in the required variety of board that suits to the product. Now here the first variety of the board is the duplex board. In this duplex board, the base is made from wood pulp that are mechanically separated from the tree. At the same time, it is not bleached. If the pulp is not bleached, the raw color of the pulp is retained as it is. And the liner or the liner of the board is made with high quality bleached chemical wood pulp when the bleaching operation is performed with the paper pulp the pulp turns into white color giving a even and smooth finish all over the surface of the board. Here there are two different sides for this duplex board. The name itself insists duplex is two or double or dual. Now the upper side, the upper side that is smooth is known as face and the back or the lower side the other side of the board is known as back while the face is smooth the surface, the surface of this face is smooth wherein the surface at the bottom is always made rough that mentioned in this picture is gray. The gray is the back of the board. Also the white color is the face of the board. The surface that is bleached chemically bleached chemical wood pulp that is the smoothest surface where it will be good ink recipient surface a good attractive artworks can be printed on the boards such that also it is important that these boards can be suitable to various varieties of products that helps in storage, transportation, dispensing and protect protection. Next is the triplex board. The name itself insi insists that the triplex board that 
Previously, we studied about the duplex board wherein two different layers are sandwiched together or made to stick to each other. There become a duplex board. Here in triplex board, in between the two layers that is the face and the back in between these two layers of pulp there is yet another layer that is replaced with the that is replaced with the chip finished board to increase the strength and durability of the board where the appearance of this variety of board will have an extra attractive features that carries a product with also at the same time safeguards the product also has the better durability than the duplex board. These boards are mostly used for heavy goods or products. Solid white board. This board is known as the purest variety or grade of board that all the individual piles or plies that are made of bleached chemical wood pulp. These boards are mostly used in food industry also frozen industries that need a higher range or higher degree of protection of the product against the spoilage of the product also this solid wood so solid white board protects the product from external odors that when the package may come across during transit or storage. This variety of solid white board is mostly used in cosmetic industry wherein the high quality images are required for packing cosmetic products. Also, at the same time, this variety of board increases the attraction of the product that it keeps the consumer or it encourages the consumer to buy the product. This solid white board also has bigger range of durability, strength and dimensional stability. The pigment coated board. It is also having a white pigment in a binding material that is coated on the surface of the board and has a smooth glossy finish to give a quality image for the pack. These boards are coated with many chemical components such as clay coated that is the natural component that are coated on the board to increase the dimensional stability and durability. Where are the other chemical components that are used to coat on the surface of the board is calcium carbonate, titanium dioxide, plastic pigments or the plastic colors or the dye, satin white and the talc. These are all the various components used to increase the surface finishing 
of the pore this smoothness is very important in terms of packing a high quality products at the same time it enhances the surface with a creative artwork that is printed on the pack these coatings are very important to increase the attraction of the product to increase the product and its brand identity also cast coated board these boards have an extra glossy mirror finish that is produced by drying that a coating is placed or plated over the board these boards have are more superior in appearance these boards enhances the package in the market shelf these boards are mostly used for many products such as cosmetics electronics goods home appliances etc these boards all the above boards from duplex board to solid white board triplex board pigmented board and cast coated board these variety of boards are available in various thicknesses and various finishing of the surfaces from ranging to 0.32 to 1.12 mm up till the 3 mm of thickness now we will get to know about various properties of board or the various characteristics of the board there are a various range of paper boards with various grades of strength thickness and the surface surfaces are available in the folding carton industry the quality of the board is always dependent on the type of use type of fibers that are used in manufacturing of the boards these pulp that are could be from mechani mechanically extracted pulp chemically extracted pulp or both chemically and mechanically together extracted or manufactured pulp these pulps should have a strong bonding between each other or each fiber in order to get a strength or to become a stronger board when the board is converted to a folding carton it should withstand all the mechanical biological and various other protective functions has to be fulfilled now here the uniformity of the board is a very important criteria that needs that needs to be an important factor to maintain the stiffness of the board or the folding 
carton or the box if at all the uniformity do not or is not maintained all over the board there could be a improper dimensional stability wherein the breakage or toning of the board could happen wherein the caliper and the grammage the grammage and the caliper the thickness of the board is very important while selecting for a relevant product also the specifications of every variety of boards is important to manipulate during the selection process of the board for a product the products could be of low in weight medium weight or a high a higher range of weight so the do this always it is important to select a suitable variety or properties of the board for a suitable packages also the thickness of the board should be selected for a carton that should be based on the size of the carton and the weight of the product printability this is yet another important factor that is important while this selection of the boards these boards should have the ability to withstand the creasing and folding operations during the creasing and folding operations there the fibers the pulp fibers wood fiber wood pulp fibers that are present in the board may be damaged also the damage that are existing in the region of creasing is also important for a good folding operation at the same time it should have an endurance that when the folding carton is been assembled manually or through automatic folding machines or automatic folding and gluing machines also the printability is at the same time important over which the uh, all the artworks are printed on the on the folding carton the finished carton printing is determined by the smoothness of the board the, the it could be of a face or it could be a back of the board sometimes both the sides are printed this either in from the smooth surface or the face of the board also the back of the board mostly the artwork and other various printing processes are experienced or happened on the surface of the smooth surface wherein the additional informations or the caution note that is mostly printed inside the carton or the or at the back of the carton now the printability of the board surface is is to match and also it should be relative to the selected method of printing process the 
manufacturing ability once the folding carton is printed then the next operation that the folding carton or the bore goes go through is the cutting and folding or the creasing and folding operation and also at the same time cutting operation as well these boards should have enough strength to withstand the crease and the folding operations and the endurance during the process of folding gluing operation in the inline process it is important to have the stability or the stiffness or the thickness of the board should be having enough strength to withstand the creasing and folding operations also this at the same time the carton also should have the ability to resist the bulging when filling the content into the package also this board should crease or helping help in a better folding operation without creating any cracks or damage to the board thus the boards may come across various various cutting and creasing operations it could be an inline process or it could be a a table cutter wherein both creasing and cutting operations can be undergone at the same time wherein in inline process the board experiences each operation one at a time in one section the creasing operation will be happening and the cutting operation will be in the next phase or the next section of the machine so thus the board has to end, undergo various factors that a package with the product undergoes and also various testings are made before the folding carton is used for a package for its stiffness durability storage and also transportation the durability during storage is an another important factor in terms of storage as in with various environmental conditions as we all know that we are surrounded with maximum or minimum moisture content these boards tend to absorb the moisture that are present in the environment the ability of the board should be in such a way that the content of the board should be maintained as it determines the dimension dimensional stability of the board this dimensional stability increases the durability and increases the life of the product thus when the product come across us or in or is stored in various storage go downs that when it come across us with various environmental 
and climatic conditions compatibility the compatibility is with the content the package or the folding carton behavior should be in such a way it should be the moisture resistant grease proof odor proof and toxic proof these three components are to be considered while selecting the board or a carton board for a folding carton that to be packed for a packed product wherein we come across various varieties of products such as solid products liquid products and powder products this solid products need a primary package and the primary package with the content can be filled inside the folding carton for additional extra protection also to to give a enhancement of the product and the brand identity also when it comes with the liquid products it should also be contained in the primary package then to a carton or a folding carton that is made of board also at the same time the powders also cannot be directly packed in a folding carton or a paper boards this also requires a primary package the primary package with the content is to be filled inside a folding carton to create a protective functions such as storage transportation and the also at the same time increases the durability of the product thus increasing the shelf life of the product end of session 2 thank you